This is what our landscape used to look like, and it is still preserved, and it's a beautiful area. Uh, we're near uh, the University of California, Santa Barbara, uh, just a little bit west of Isla Vista, and behind me is Coal Oil Point, which is part of the uh, University of California preserve system to maintain and enhance the habitat of that uh, point area and the estuary behind it. It's about 200,000 acres, about 40 miles long. It's the largest uh, remnant of uh, the Southern California Mediterranean coastal ecosystem. It's one of five such ecosystems in the world. It represents less than 2% of the land mass of the world. It is a very precious and rare commodity. And it is very desirable because it is comfortable. Uh, the climate is temperate. It has a cool ocean to jump in when it gets too hot. It doesn't get too much rain. Uh, Southern California, uh, as it was at, uh, in the 1900, doesn't exist anymore. It has been overrun with uh, pavement and cars. This area is that last remnant of the Southern California Mediterranean environment that we are working desperately to save. We're just off the California Coastal Trail. You know, 50 feet over here to my left is the California Coastal Trail, and it runs out to the point behind me. And from there, it continues down along the beach for a couple of miles. Uh, and then it ends uh, in a uh, rocky cliff that you can't get around and the landowner won't let you up onto their land. So it's a segment of the California Coastal Trail, uh, but it's a beautiful segment as you can see. And at the Gaviota Coast, we have an interesting phenomenon. The coast, which has been extending east to west, suddenly turns north, Point Conception, and that is our geographic boundary between Southern California and Northern California. And it all changes for the California Coastal Trail right there because suddenly it becomes a cooler, more rugged environment and the Coastal Trail becomes more of a rural, even wilderness collage going up to San Luis Obispo County and the majestic cliffs and mountains of Big Sur. We would like to expand the trail to completely encompass the coast, but it takes a lot of time and effort. Landowners are generally opposed to placing trails on their property, and where they are agreeable to doing it, it's, it's a very long process. So uh, part of our charter is to establish that, uh, the California Coastal Trail in this area, to provide uh, access to the public. And I think over the intervening 18 years, we've probably gotten two miles of coastal trail built. Uh, I have great hopes that over the next five years we'll get another five or six or seven miles built because we've been working on it. But the coastal trail will not be realized, probably not in my lifetime, on this section of the coast. But there is tremendous uh, legal and economic opposition to the coastal trail uh, that, the, that the community and the public needs to overcome in order to appropriately cite it. So it's a long process, but it's a worthy process. And I've met lots of great people and had lots of great hikes doing it, so I have no regrets. Coincidentally, there's one developer on the Gaviota Coast that I was talking to a couple of weeks ago who said, I like trails on my property. And after long discussions with us, uh, he's finally come to the realization that those houses will benefit from the coastal trail because the people that inhabit those houses will have access uh, to a much larger environment than their own front yard. So that was, that was an epiphany that we enjoyed. We've been tremendously successful in getting access to the coast with the many coastal access ways. And the California Coastal Trail has been a complete success as a planning tool to increase coastal access. I think it's now a matter of selling the vision. I believe that most people don't even know when they're hiking on a beach, they're on the California Coastal Trail. The whole community accesses it. Bikers, hikers, uh, joggers, walkers, surfers, fishermen, photographers, uh, bird lovers. Uh, and access is a wonderful thing because it gets you out into nature. It connects you to uh, the world that you sprang from. Uh, and without that connection, I think we're partially lost in this modern world. If the members of the community do not directly 
experience their landscape, they will not have the information necessary to preserve it. And I want people to be grounded uh, in their heritage because if you don't understand it, you won't preserve it. I'm very happy whenever I see the California Coastal Trail logo and the footprints and everything else going down to the beach because I know someone has planted the seed for hikers at the trailhead. You're on the California Coastal Trail. You're part of the dream. You're part of something special. You're part of a 1,600 mile system of interconnected beach and bluff trails that explore the glorious California coast.